How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I want to compare Hostinger with Bluehost to help you guys figure out which one could be the best choice for you if you're looking for a high quality web hosting provider. Now, before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these web hosting providers, be it Bluehost or Hostinger, you'll find special discounts in the description down below that will save you quite a bit of money. Uh, so feel free to take advantage of those while they last. And if you're looking for an individual review, you'll also find these in the description down below for both providers. Now, let's start with the pricing plans. Now, Hostinger offers three core pricing tiers, while Bluehost offers typically four. And both providers have add-ons and custom packages available upon request but in the pricing category i've noticed that hostinger gives you a little bit more value for the money uh, considering the features that you are receiving here for such little amounts okay so you can get started quickly and cheaply with hostinger's lowest price single shared hosting plan but you do need to keep in mind some things that may be missing such as a free domain which you won't be uh, getting with the cheapest plan from hostinger you're going to need to upgrade to the premium shared hosting plan which is still going to be uh, about as much as the basic plan with bluehost uh, though you do get a free domain no matter which one you go for here with bluehost you'll still get a free domain though the ssl certificate will only last for a year so you'll have to get the uh, next plan here if you're looking for a more permanent ssl certificate whereas with hostinger you do get the ssl certificate no matter which one you go for here uh, as you can tell unlimited free ssl um, cloudfare or cdn you're only going to be able to get it with the business shared hosting plan uh, and you also get wordpress staging tool with the business shared hosting plan uh, and daily backups instead of the weekly backups um, so yeah there are things that you want to keep in mind obviously before you make your subscription so i do recommend that you keep an eye out for the feature Features, you know for the bandwidth for the emails for the monthly visits so on and so forth as you can tell you know in terms of ssd storage you get a whole lot more with hostinger anyways we'll talk about these security and features in just a little bit but if we're talking value for the money um i'm gonna have to side with hostinger on this one now technically bluehost does offer 24 7 live chat support just like hostinger but what i like about bluehost is that they offer phone phone support and international phone support and uh, this is something that I think Hostinger is missing and uh, Bluehost you know when it comes to their phone support they will stay with you as a client you know they'll take care of you and make sure that your website is running uh, as soon as possible and uh, they'll definitely hold your hand throughout the entire process uh, though the Hostinger live chat support is also super friendly they're super useful and knowledgeable and yeah very very helpful overall. Now, with regards to features, as you can tell, in terms of pricing, Bluehost is more expensive than Hostinger, uh, and you'll often have to pay for pricey add-ons to get the same functionality as an equivalent Hostinger plan. Um, and you want to make sure that you're also checking off some of the features that you may not need on checkout because um, you know it tends to rack up pretty quickly, and you'll be paying a little bit more than usual if you don't pay attention to the checkout. For example, all of Host Stinger's plans come with unlimited free email addresses and the only exception is the single shared hosting plan. Compare this to Bluehost which only offers a single Microsoft 365 email address on a 30-day trial basis. After that you're stuck paying extra for every single email address you need. If you don't want to use WordPress all Bluehost plans include access to the Weebly website builder. If you want to use Xyro then Hostinger may be the better choice for you. Now I do like Xyro because it has so many automated and AI based automations that make life super easy and super um, well convenient to say the least and it gets your website running very quickly. If we're going to sum up the features let me just put them next to each other right here so that you guys can get a better look. We'll take a look at uptime in just a little bit that's why I have them 
uh, selected right here. Um, but overall, in terms of hosting types, with Bluehost, uh, you get shared WordPress, VPS, and dedicated servers. With Hostinger, you get shared VPS, cloud, WordPress, email, and dedicated servers. With regards to disk space, you get from 10 gigabytes to unlimited, depending on the plan you're going for. With Hostinger, you get from 20 to 300 gigabytes, also depending on uh, the plan that you're going for. You get a free domain, with Bluehost, with all the plans, but with Hostinger, you're not gonna be getting that free domain with the single shared hosting plan, but it's cheap enough. Uh, so yeah, th that may look like an attractive deal if you already have a domain and you don't need one. Um, in terms of the site builder, you get the Zyro site builder with Hostinger and you get Weebly with Bluehost. You get free SSLs with both. You get backups daily with Hostinger if you go for the premium or business. And you also get weekly or daily depending on the plans with uh, Bluehost. With Bluehost, you get unmetered bandwidth and with Hostinger, it's 100 gigabytes to unlimited depending on your plan. You get C panels, but the dedicated H panel is what you get with Hostinger, but you do get the really good and uh, easy to use C panel with Bluehost as well. You get one free Microsoft 365 account with Bluehost, whereas you get unlimited free email accounts with Hostinger, except for the uh, one email account with the single shared hosting plan. The cool thing about Bluehost though is that you get $200 in Google and Microsoft ads, and you don't get any advertising credits so you can understand the more expensive pricing of Bluehost in this case. Um, you get WooCommerce with both uh, and you get a 30-day money-back guarantee with both. Now I've noticed that Hostinger is a little bit more uh, reliable in terms of uptime. So if we take a look at uptime with Bluehost here, you'll notice that from November to August 2022, from November 2021 to August 2022, uh, we have one, two, and pretty much just 200% uptime. Um, whereas with Hostinger, if we compare the last 10 months, we have one, two, three, and four 100%s. Um, now you do get 299.99, which is as good as it gets, and we do get 299.99s with Bluehost as well. And when it does go down, it goes down to 99.87, 98, 81, 92, and 95, and 63 is the worst we're gonna get with Bluehost during the last 10 months. Whereas with Hostinger, you see that we have an 8.9, a 9.0, a 9.6, and a 7.0. So overall, I think the uptime in my estimation, uh, goes to Hostinger here. So it is a little bit better if you're going to go with a uh, an online store, if that's what you're trying to open, let's say. Uh, uptime is very important and response time is also very important so that you can keep your customers on your website and not have them leave uh, if the website takes a bit too long to load. Whereas the response time with Bluehost is quite a bit doubled, if not more. Uh, so that's something you wanna keep in mind. Also, Hostinger does have a more robust infrastructure than Bluehost with servers in the US, the UK, Brazil, the Netherlands, Singapore, Indonesia, and Lithuania. So I do like how spread out these servers are with Hostinger. Now, in terms of security, both hosting providers give you a free SSL certificate to protect your site visitors' data, uh, but with a few minor caveats and exceptions. With Bluehost, you'll need to talk to support and perform a few technical steps. If you have Hostinger's most basic plan, you'll need to pay a little bit extra for the SSL certificate. Hostinger provides Cloudflare protection for all plans, but Cloudflare CDN will not be available unless you go with the business plan. So that's worth keeping in mind. Bluehost, though, works according to a business model of pricey add-ons. All you get for free is the spam experts email filter. If you want anything more, you'll need to purchase the site lock add-on for an equivalent feature set to Hostinger. Moreover, site lock can only scan five to 10 web pages at a time. Bluehost might provide a free SSL certificate with its most basic plan, but it's only a minor detail. Hostinger, in my opinion, offers stronger and more reliable security without the headache of add-on purchases. But if you value the really good customer support of Bluehost, 
and their cPanel, then Bluehost might be worth taking a look at, despite what Hostinger offers, especially that you get $200 worth of uh, ad credits with Google. Okay, so now which one should you choose? Now, if you're new, Hostinger's plans are cheaper, they have more features, and perform better than Bluehost, at least during the past year. That's what it looks like. I don't necessarily like that Bluehost is trying to charge higher prices uh, on checkout and it is a little bit sneaky, but Bluehost is still a very solid uh, web hosting provider. And if you find value in choosing Bluehost, especially that Bluehost is recognized as the best for WordPress uh, websites, then it's definitely worth uh, considering Bluehost. Either way, if you're looking for a full review on both web hosting providers, you'll find that review in the description down below. And if you're looking to save a little bit more cash, also find links to pricing and discounts. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.